In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can connect your Namecheap domain name to your store on Shopify. So this is going to be a complete step-by-step -step guide so you can follow along. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're logged in on both Shopify and Namecheap on the same browser. And then in your Shopify store, you want to go to the left button where it says settings. So click on that. And then we want to hover to domains right here. Click on that as well. And now we can see that our current domain name is the standard myshopify.com domain name. And here we want to connect our existing domain. So we click on this white button. And then now we want to go to Namecheap. And from here we can go to our account and click on dashboard right here. And then straight away you will be able to see your list of domains. As we can see, this is the one I'm going to use, autosimple.xyz. I'm simply going to copy this domain name and I'll go back to Shopify. I paste it in like this and then click next. And now as we can see, the domain name has been added, but we need to make some changes. It automatically detects that it is located at Namecheap and we want to add these DNS records. So the first thing we want to do here is add these new DNS records. So you want to copy this value right here and we want to create this A record inside the DNS settings of our domain. So for that, we want to go back to Namecheap. Then right here under our domain, we click manage. And then right here, we want to go to advanced DNS right here. And now we're going to see all the DNS configurations right here and we want to add a new record. So right here, we want to click add new record. It's going to be an A record. Host is going to be at. Then the IP address is going to be the value that we got from Shopify. And we can leave the TTL automatic and then hit save changes. So now the A record has been added. Now we go back to Shopify. We also want to add a C name record. So we copy the value shops.myshopify.com. We click add new record, select C name, and then for the host we type in www, for the target we paste in the value we got, automatic, and then hit the check mark. And now also here we successfully added the C name record. Now we can go back to Shopify and we can click I updated DNS records and it's going to check if we actually did it to make the link. So let's see if it makes the connection. And then there we go. We now got the confirmation that the link has been made. All the DNS records are pointing to Shopify and it's live in all regions. Now the only thing that's still doing is provisioning the TLS certificate, which is basically for verification. And right now, if we are going to look at the site, it might show that the connection isn't secure, but it just needs some time. So now what we can do, we can change the domain type. So we click on that. And now we want to make sure that the domain, how to simple that XYC is set to primary. So we click change domain and now it has been changed. And now we can open this in a new tab. So let's do that just like that. And it should point to Shopify and it does. We are redirected to the opening soon page of our store. It isn't live yet. So this is currently how it looks like. And also the SSL certificate has already been updated. So we're all secure. This is pretty much everything you need to do. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.